All right, so to stay in the NFC North, sort of, and since you mentioned how the Green Bay Packers are a thorn in your ass, let me ask yes. you, are you buying the Green Bay Packers, a.k.a. the Jordan Love hype? No. Why aren't you? <laughs> Listen, man. I'm and this a- is non-biased, right? Because he went into Jerry's world and kicked your ass in the playoffs. <laughs> He did, okay. and you know what? And, I, and he he won a few more tough games that year. Yeah, I mean Green Bay, mm-hmm. uh, they took care of Kansas City and Detroit. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But um, I just think he was a one hit wonder. Mm-hmm. I mean, to maintain that type of play, and he got that big contract over two hundred mm-hmm. million dollars. Richest thing. NFL player ever. Absolutely. So listen. A lot of guys get paid in professional sports on potential, but I'm not buying the Green Bay Packers. Like I mm-hmm. said, I said it is a competitive division. You were, you're right. It may be one of the, may be the toughest division. Mm-hmm. I'm not buying Jordan Love. He got to show me more than that. Mm-hmm. I know he got a playoff game on his belt. I get it. Hell, two I ain't won no playoff games. Right. He's on one, and he got yeah. the big contract as well, twenty yeah. million dollars. But you have to show me more than that because yeah. that could have been a Buster Douglas night. Right. You know. What yeah. I'm Teams didn't expect it because right. he started out shaky. He started out cold. Right. And then all of a sudden. He he warmed up and he's getting going and teams are kind of unexpected it. They may not have a lot of film to study him while he's in that hot streak. Right. So they don't know his tendencies yeah, and everything like that. But they got him like down because he did it last year. And then we know he sat behind Aaron Rodgers, who right. was more overrated than Bad Boys 4. Um, but That was a good movie, Q. Don't do that. Okay. More overrated than Equalizer 3. Okay. That's yeah, more Okay. Fair. All right. Yeah, all right. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and yeah, so with, I, I, I agree. I don't believe the hype as well. Me neither. It's, it's, the, it's the same thing with Brock Purdy. Remember when Brock Purdy's first year before? Well, Brock Purdy's legit. Well, now, because he did it for two years. Right. Right? right. Jordan Love did it for one. Remember yeah. after Brock Purdy did it for one, we actually talked. And I told you, you was like, yo, Purdy's good. I was like, yeah. Q, I got to see him doing it in a big game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did it. So he I, give it, I right. give it to Purdy. You gave it to him. Right. I give it to him. I haven't seen that from Love neither, so I can't give that to him. But like you said... Teams now are going to know. They're going right. to study his, yeah. his his cadences um, while him being good. They're going to study what he does. You know what I'm saying? They're going to study all the small things, not to mention the Green Bay Packers have the fourth, t- fourth toughest schedule this season. Um, and teams are going to be ready for it. If you're right. the highest paid NFL player ever and, you're, and we're playing you, oh, you're circled. I'm making an objective to either pick you off if I'm a defensive back or or knock your ass out if I'm a defensive line or outside linebacker. Right. 100%. So teams are going to have him on their hit list now. Right. And then also the surrounding weapons that they ha- that they lack of, I should say. Right. I'm not buying that neither. So I don't believe the hype um, around Jordan Love as well. He's the highest paid football player ever with four-year, $220 million contract. Um, do you think he's worth a- worthy of the contract? Can that white lady from Australia really break dance? <laughs> Hell no, he ain't worth the contract, man. No, man. Yeah. And then the thing about it is, and I got to give a shout out to my man, Jair Alexander from Charlotte. He's one of the DBs, one of the top DBs in the NFL. So mm-hmm. secondary, they, they secondary a little shaky. I hadn't lived up to what it's mm-hmm. supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Was that, uh, Jair back there mm-hmm. being one of the top dogs in the NFL as far as uh, DBs go. For but sure. no, I, I'm just not buying it. Just like he's not a terrible quarterback. I just, it's the sample size is too small. Yes, that was an impressive road win, first time. Playoff win, you're in the playoffs. Right. And, he, you know, and he, he sent us home. And we had a yeah. great year last year. Sent us home. So. And it came down to the wire with the 49ers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So he got something there, but let's see if he can maintain it. Right. And come back, like you said, for the second year. We'll see what happens. But right now, like Jehovah's Witness at my door, I'm not buying it. <laughs> not buying it. Me neither. So me and you can agree on that. Um,